Hi, Alex Stewart here for Unique Drain and Septic, and welcome to the first video in our Septic 101 series. In this video series, we want to explore the ins and outs of the entirety of your septic system. Now, these systems are extremely common here in the United States and can be found pretty much everywhere from the farm homes dotting the plains across the Midwest to mountain homes and cabins found here in our home state of Colorado. But just because these septic systems are common doesn't mean they're well understood. And that's why we decided to create this 101 series. In this first video, we want to explore the very basics of exactly how your septic system works. So, what do you say we take a look? A septic system is fairly simple in design. It normally consists of a septic tank, a lateral line system, and a leach field. The septic tank itself is generally made of concrete and holds an average volume of about 1,500 gallons. This tank is the first stop for your waste once it leaves your home through something like a toilet flush or down a drain. Once your waste enters into the tank, it begins to break down into smaller pieces. This breakdown process is accomplished through beneficial bacteria living inside the tank itself that break down the waste and separate it into scum and sludge. The scum generally floats to the top of the tank and consists of mostly fats, oils, and grease. The sludge layer generally sinks to the bottom of the tank and is made up of proteins, carbohydrates, and undigested solids. After the scum and sludge have been separated, the water then flow out of the tank and into the septic field, where the lateral lines are located. This field is generally a large space, typically in your backyard or other large open space, where several lateral lines extend from the septic tank. The lateral lines are long pieces of tubing, generally made of PVC, that have holes drilled throughout and normally have a layer of gravel between them and the soil below. The liquid from the septic system runs through these lateral lines and exits through the holes. A substance called biomat builds around these exit holes. This biomat also contains bacteria that continue to break down any remaining waste left in the liquid from your septic tank as it seeps through it. Once the liquid exits through the lateral lines and passes through the biomat, it seeps into the soil and eventually makes its way back into the groundwater as clean water. Every septic system is a little bit different, whether it's differences in tank size or field configuration. It may even be that your tank is made from a different material other than concrete, like fiberglass. But even though there are slight variations in each system, the general principle and how they work is basically the same. Overall, the whole process really is pretty simple. But there are a few do's and don'ts you'll want to know when living with a septic system. So in the next video in our Septic 101 series, that's what we're going to tackle. We're going to explore the do's and don'ts when living on a septic system. So in the meantime, please be sure to like this video. Also, feel free to leave any questions or comments you may have about septic systems in the comments below. Also, for additional information and resources about septic systems, please follow the link to our website in the description below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.